I'm from New York. Anybody in New York? Anybody know what I'm talking about? That's the toughest city in the world. You know why? Because 9-11 proved that. 9-11 happened only in New York. Any other city? Shut down. Not New York. 9-11? Shoot. We went to work the next day. That's because it happened on a pay week. We don't play with them checks. You start calling people, checking on them for the wrong reasons. You call him Bill from payroll. Bill, you all right? Just want to make sure you wasn't caught up in that. Hey, well, talk is this your girl, Winter. Right now, we're sitting here with the talented talent. How you doing? I'm good. How you doing? I'm fine. Thank you. We were just having a discussion, and we kind of just rolled on to the camera about that. But you were talking about... We were talking about sides. When we sat down in these chairs, I said, what side does she want? Because I, over the years, I've been on comedy 21 years, and one thing I learned about pictures and video, women have a good side. Whatever the, whatever that is. Whatever the hell that is. Like me, either side, I feel Either good. side is sexy. Right, but women... You feel like you got right, and I was sitting on his side that he's sitting on right now, and then he started telling me something about this side looking better, so now I had to switch sides. I, didn't say that. Like that. <laughs> I said the Played hair, me. the hair, the bang, you know. <laughs> she looks good on both sides. Thank right. you, talent. So listen, you're hosting right now for this comedy show. Um, how is that? The host is the glue of your show, right? From beginning to end, like now. If I just did my thing, I mean, don't get me wrong, I like it either way, but if I just do my thing, then I'm just responsible for those 20, 30, 40, whatever time is allotted. I'm just responsible for that, then I go home if I want. So if you're a patron and you pay to get in the show and you've been here since 8 o'clock and the show's to 10.30, you might hate two hours of the show other than the 30 I did. You know what I mean? So it's like you feel bad for the show overall. But one thing about a host is you got to be really good to be the glue of the whole show. So if somebody screws up or somebody's not that funny or whatever the case may be, the host can make you forget about that and still make you get in your car on the way home and be like, that was a good show. And when the people make you work, is a whole different situation. But when you go up from the beginning and they're waiting for the show and they can't wait and they jump right in bed with you, it's like, it's good sex. <laughs> Well, maybe the next time you go out there, you should just be like Winter's good side. Just put that on blast real quick, so I will do it. everybody knows I have a good side. You're talking to the wrong person because I really do it, and then you'll be sitting on the side like, "What?" I be clapping. I love it. <laughs> when did you know you was funny? Were you always funny? I did, but um, as a kid, looking at television and looking at people who did comedy. First of all, as a kid, I didn't really comprehend that people did it for a living. I, I thought it was a hobby. So I had my goals and plans set up, and I said, you know, at the end of this, when I'm going to retire young, and as a hobby, I'm going to do comedy. I didn't know it was what, I, what it was. But uh, thanks to Russell Simmons, Def Comedy Jam came along, kind of like kicked the door open for young black comedians. So because we're growing up, you see Richard Pry, you see Red Fox. As a, To a young kid, they look old. You know, they look older than you. So... To see somebody your age when you're coming out of high school a couple of years, it was like, wow, you know, here's an opportunity. And you're just trying to have fun. Right. And then next thing you know, no, oh, this takes up all your time. Your this career. is your living. Mm -hmm. And next thing you know, you're intertwining. So it's like 21 years later. Wow, that's hot. But it seems like yesterday, so I'm not mad. Well, it looks like yesterday. <laughs> Let's move on. So anyway, <laughs> that's another thing. So um, it looks just like it just it looks like yesterday. <laughs> I'm just saying that because isn't he so cute? Real talk is hit me up. I think he's so I adorable. I think he's so cute. I used to be cute. Then I grew my little Fahid. I call us the Fahid. It's a cute Fahid. I'm flirting. Okay, let's move on. <laughs> Have any like tours or any like any other projects coming out or any DVDs or something? Because oh, yes. you know people want to see you. Yes, this year coming up uh, in 2011 and 12, I have um, a series of documentaries that I'm producing. I'm doing an hour special before uh, I think it comes out like in the fall, September, October of 2011. Um, and I just took my time. I like I've been doing it 21 years, so to me, I'm real about. I'm, I'm really, really strict about timing. Mm -hmm. I don't do something just to do it. So my special took longer and longer and longer because, and you know, contrary to what other people think, like it takes you a long time to really be ready and at a certain point in the career. Like I've been doing it 21 years. To me, I might be 65% where I want to be. Wow, that's so, that's wonderful. It's a ride. It's a marathon and not a race. You know, 65. It's just like I didn't, I didn't find my good side yet. Is what he happened. You have to find his good side, and it's not this side because we know that this is officially my good side. Since you played, they both good. You played me. I love those sides. <laughs> both sides are good. All right. My goal is one day that when you throw that one name on the marquee, it could be 10,000 seats. 
they got to announce it like, okay, don't forget, Friday at 10 a.m., tickets go to sell for talent in that hour, like Prince right. and Michael Jackson, it's sold out. That's my goal in comedy. Like, that's what I want to do. On stage, you're known for doing the... Where did that come about and how did that start? Um, I think it started my, my, my son, who's 18 now. When I when I, my first son was born, it was a thing that kind of linked us. Like it got his attention, mm -hmm. and he laughed. Like whenever I would do it, I would point at him and touch him in the nose and poke him in the oh, head, wow. and do, and he would just giggle oh, wow. so much. So I got on stage, and I started finding myself somewhere. I was talking about something, and I did it, and I laughed inside. Right. And the people was laughing, and it went with the timing. So I found that when I put it where a period would go, explanation point, right. people would laugh. So right. I kept it, you know, and to this day, I still do it. I say thank you so much for sitting, sitting here talking to us. We love you. We're supporting you. Thank you. And thank you for allowing me on your good side. I want to say yes, that. Yes, thank you. you. You should be privileged. This is a good side, people. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. We love you. We're supporting you. So make sure Keep an eye out for talent. He's talented and he's doing his thing. Let me do mine. That's good. Uh, thank you. <laughs> Peace out. We're talking. Who y'all was to deal with? Your boy Talent. It's just comedy, baby. And we're keeping it winter all year round. I'm chilling with your girl, Winter. You better recognize.